I want to respond to somebody out there that is talking a little bit of nonsense. I'm not going to, if I can help it, but I might mention a name. Uh, a female out there from New York City who is so... All right. Um, <laughs> you, she doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. That's number one. She never saw my show. She thinks she saw my show. She did not see my show. She saw the Crazy Joe Show Video Chronicles. If she's that stupid enough that can't tell the difference between the show on the internet, which is the website, thecrazyjoeshow.com, and the Crazy Joe Show Video Chronicles, it's a sad, pathetic case. Because these fucking people are so stupid and dumb. They, I remember one night, this was uh, before I, I divorced on social media. And I had all these women and they were all supposed to come. I was so excited. Do you know not one of them came except one? I'm not talking about sex. I'm talking about actually came on my website and heard my show live because these other moron bitches and I'm not just singling out one all these moron bitches didn't know how to hit the fucking uh, play button and I explained it time after time scroll down just a little bit and you'll see the play button but these fucking assholes have no knowledge whatsoever. They're dumb. And women in particular are dumb. They don't know anything about uh, technical or nothing, and neither do I. But if someone directs me to a website and tells me they're going to do a show there, I'll find it. Because there's a thing called scrolling. I guess... I guess you don't know what that means, right, Patty? You don't know what scrolling is? You never heard of it? So you fucked me right there. Second of all, don't ever tell Crazy Joe what the fuck to do. Ever. You will hold your tongue. And you will not tell Crazy Joe how I need to conduct myself because I don't give a flying fuck because one person like you doesn't make a whole fucking audience. You're not my salvation. Okay? And third, I didn't appreciate you telling me I got to pay for you. Because I was going to meet this woman. And I was interested. And the woman practically wanted me to come to her house. And I come from up north, and this woman lives in Staten Island, which is a whole country on its own. It's the most dislocated borough of all of New York City. It's in the middle of the fucking bay, which is the start of the ocean. Once you cross the, the bridge, you're out in the deep sea. You start going out to the, to the ocean. A lot of boats pass by there, freighters, merchant marine. I know the area very well. And instead of this woman cutting me a break and meeting me in the heart of New York City where it's more convenient for both of us because even though she lives in the middle of nowhere and Staten Island is neglected by the rest of New York City, it is still obtainable to take a bus to the ferry, hop on board, go across the bay there, whatever you want to call it, New York Harbor, and you're right in New York City in 30 minutes. 
compared to where I had to come from up there, Jersey, you know, wherever I came from, I got to come that far. So this woman didn't appreciate the fucking travel distance that I had to go. And then the nerve to tell me that I got to pay for her. Now that's a typical, uh, that's a typical WAP. Female. They want you to cater to them. They want you to get on your fucking knees for them. They want you to kiss their fucking pussy and ass. I don't do that. That's why I will never, ever uh, go out with an Italian woman. They're all turnoffs to me. And uh, they're like the Japs, the Jewish American princesses. No difference. That's why the Italians and the Jewish people, they get along so good because they share the same uh, personality in New York City. Demanding. uh, Big mouse. They act like the fucking yentas that they really are. I lived in Queens. I went to a park once to play basketball. (laughs) There was nothing but Italians and Jews there. And they all talked and got along like, like, like they were the same culture, the same race. I can tell you stories about that shit. Tales of New York City. I guess Patty f- forgets that I'm I'm a former resident of NYC. And I know about the shit there. But I just wanted to address this 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 woman that she had no business telling me what the fuck to do. You don't pay my rent. You don't give me food. You don't pay my bills. You give me nothing except your big mouth. And you know what you could do with that big mouth. Who the fuck are you to tell me how to conduct my show? And you even never even listen to my show on the website. You were just a fucking fly by night. You weren't committed to me, so you're full of shit. Okay, Patty? You're full of shit. Stop your fucking bullshit. I don't want to hear it no more. Okay? You have potential to be a great fan, but no, you chose to fuck me around and to mouth off to me and tell me what I need to do. You're not my fucking boss, and neither is anybody else out there. Like I said, one person doesn't make a fan base. Because of people like Patty who fucked me around, because of other those people that night that didn't have the knowledge to tune into my show, who blew me off. Oh, you should see the next day. Why didn't you listen to my show? Why didn't you listen to my show? Every fucking excuse known to mankind and womankind. This is why I don't need you fucking people. You make me sick. You're pathetic. You're losers. You don't know how to fucking conduct yourself. You think you're going to address me the way you think you're going to address me? Well, it's not going to happen. Because I tell you to go fuck yourself in a heartbeat. And I tell you, I, I tell you, get lost. We don't need you. We don't want you. I don't need on social media. I don't need fucking these bitches to tell Joe what to do. I'm a fucking grown man. Nobody, I mean, if you want, uh, you want to criticize, okay, that's one thing. That's if you support my show. And I'll still probably tell you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> But uh, if you're not supporting my show and you want to be cheap about it also, you couldn't fucking come out of your pocket for five bucks. You're a real pathetic fucking case, Patty. And I don't want to hear your bullshit about, oh, I I, I could donate your show. If you weren't sure what to donate, ask me. But you didn't want to ask me nothing. You just want to bust my fucking balls. You busted my balls on the Crazy Joe show 
my other uh, site. Now you busted my balls on YouTube, right? Now you're talking shit, right? Fuck you.